the Department of Urology at uh, Hampshire Hospitals is a very dynamic uh, department. I'm based at Basingstoke Hospital, uh, but we merged with Winchester three or four years ago, and that's expanded our catchment population to half a million. We are committed to providing high quality care for all our patients, but specifically uh, my interest is around the field of prostate uh, problems, both benign and, and cancerous. Research is integral to everything that we do, and where possible, we're always trying to encourage patients to consider entry into clinical trials. Uh, a large part of the focus of our work is around prostate cancer diagnostics, in terms of imaging and biopsies, and focal therapy. Um, which offers men a, an alternative treatment to the conventional uh, extremes of surveillance and radical treatment. And then also we're involved with uh, trials looking at benign prostatic problems and looking at uh, exploring new surgical treatments as they come through because the goal I think is to improve the lot for men with prostate problems. We currently have five prostate cancer trials open, two bladder and four oncology trials and uh, we hope to recruit uh, more research nurses so we can support more clinical trials. When we see men with symptoms of benign prostatic disease, we know that they want an improvement in their quality of life with minimal impact on their continence and sexual function. And we're at the forefront of assessing surgical techniques to improve these outcomes. We were um, an early adopter of, of green light laser surgery for BPH. That started in 2005 and the technology has evolved. We started off with the 80 watt laser, then to the 120, and more recently with the Goliath trial, the 180 watt laser. And now the two year data is out and that's demonstrated that uh, green light PVP is equivalent to monopolar or bipolar TURP in terms of um, its outcomes, but with a more favourable side effect profile and an earlier return to normal activities. And we are a reference centre for teaching and training for green light laser surgery. Any patient who walks into Hampshire Hospitals uh, will have the, what we believe at the moment to be the highest quality evidence-based diagnostic pathway for prostate cancer. Prostate cancer diagnostics are a precision subspeciality within urology and here at Hampshire Hospitals not only do we offer the most advanced evidence-based approach but we've also contributed to developing the evidence. The focus for our research at the moment on the prostate cancer front is very much around uh, prostatic uh, cancer diagnosis and we're involved in the PROMISE trial working with UCL and also we're now more recently involved working with the University of Oxford uh, with the PART trial and we have strong links also with the University of Surrey and we're looking at a urine biomarker uh, called EN2 at the moment. Of course I guess what we've built our reputation on recently is the work that we're doing around focal therapy and I'm excited to say that we've just got involved now with the Index Light trial which is looking at focal therapy but particularly looking at the use of high intensity focused ultrasound to ablate um, part of the prostate gland. The reason that we're certainly able to participate in some of those trials is that we're fortunate enough to have two excellent local charities, the Pelican Cancer Foundation, who put money into buying the initial equipment for HIFU and for green light laser surgery. And then more recently, the North Hampshire Medical Fund have supported us with the upgrade to the third generation HIFU system, which enables us to offer patients um, a more targeted approach to their ultrasound ablation treatment. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2010 and originally elected brachytherapy. Then I heard about this trial being carried out uh, and, and was operated on quite quickly after that as part of the HIFU trial. The operation was a success but I needed a further operation about three years later for some residual cancer. Let me say I'm delighted to this day I've never had any symptoms. The only ongoing effect I do take a Cialis, a type of Viagra uh, product, to help with my erection, but it's a very 5 milligram small dose. Otherwise, life is great and it's like I've never been treated. For all patients, but predominantly those with, with, with a diagnosis of prostate cancer, we offer a multidisciplinary approach. Every case is discussed at a multidisciplinary meeting with all allied health specialists uh, and clinicians present. We work with a an excellent group of surgeons, nurses and uh, healthcare practitioners and, and trials nurses. 
So for us as specialist nurses, um, we're going to be seeing those patients after any treatment for prostate cancer uh, to sort out any complications or side effects that they have from their treatment. And the good thing for us is that HIFU we're seeing patients with fewer problems around their continence and urinary symptoms and around their injections, needing fewer interventions or pharmacotherapy and treatment after their treatment, which improves their quality of life. Being dry, not leaking urine, having a, a reasonable quality erection is important to men. I had a um, template biopsy done at QA Portsmouth um, and they found that there were cancerous cells and the options that I was offered there were uh, either radiotherapy or uh, surgery and because of the side effects I didn't fancy either of those uh, options so I did a bit of research on the uh, internet and found out about uh, HIFU. Hopefully it will be successful, but if it's not, I've then got the option to have HIFU uh, subsequently, or radiotherapy or removal, so I feel that I'm keeping my options open. I think it's important to be part of a trial, whether it's for HIFU or anything else, um, so that the medical profession can learn from it for, for the greater good. It's my impression that things are really improving at quite a rapid speed in the in the field of prostate cancer diagnostics and and treatment and with that I have little doubt that we'll see an improvement in outcomes in the longer term. Mm -hmm.